spoiler warning spoilers 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 all right where do we go to next do we have a look at mastery in the forest right down here near where you find robin's axe is the store to get into the store you need to have level 10 in all of your skills as soon as you have level 10 all of your skills you are allowed in here there's a little note down here my dear blade if you're reading this note you've found the secret room i've prepared for you within these walls are tips recipes and even some of my most cherished tool cherished tools all the very best from the many happy years i spent in the valley by coming this far you've proven that you possess a skill and wisdom to make good use of these powerful secrets i hope my discoveries help you in your journey to making perfection farm a shining star of the whole world make me proud grandpa and we have things that look like combat that look like foraging that look like farming fishing and mining combat mastery anvil allows you to reforge trinkets randomizing their stats cost three iridium bars per use mini forge now you can use a dwarfish forge from the convenience of your home unlocks a new equipment slot for trinkets trinkets can be found while adventuring and grant special powers so we need to have a close look at trinkets these are recipes these are new things you need to craft in order to craft everything so you need to get combat mastery for perfection foraging mastery mystic tree seed this can be planted to grow a special tree foraging recipe treasure totem used on diggable terrain to summon a ring of treasure spots crafting recipe you can now find golden mystery boxes which contain superior items we've already looked at where you can get the golden mystery boxes from more crafting recipes new tree mystic tree seed if you tap the tree do you get something else that you need well yes you get something that you need in order to craft the treasure totem so you need foraging mastery for perfection farming iridium scythe can be used to harvest any crops any crop can be used to harvest any crops it's also excellent at gathering hay it's the tool that you get and a crafting recipe statue of blessings touching the statue gives a unique blessing every day we need to look at what blessings the statue gives you can now find golden animal crackers which permanently doubles a farm animal's produce doesn't work on pigs you need farming mastery for perfection fishing mastery advanced iridium rod used in the water to catch fish up to two bobbers can be attached at once not bait but bobbers challenge bait crafting recipe a perfect catch yields triple the fish however each time a fish escapes the fishing bar the catch is reduced you can now encounter golden fishing chests crafting recipe you need fishing mastery for perfection mining mastery statue of the dwarf king choose from two mining related powers each day heavy furnace it's more efficient than a regular furnace requires 25 pieces of ore and three coal per use gem bearing rocks now grant twice the gems it's just a straight up double crafting recipes you need mining mastery for perfection you need to get mastery in every single skill in order to get the recipes that you need in order to get perfection the final path five stars in here five six seven out of ten thousand note that this is not split based on skill any xp that you get oh look a mystery box increases that number now you can also see this number from your wallet you can see i've got 580 out of 10,000 for the first mastery level any xp any xp every time i read this book i'm getting 250 xp in all five skills i've reached a new level of understanding i now have one star that means i can claim one of these of these masteries i reckon that doing this in seed of perfection is that you go for farming first the reason you go for farming first is that you get the iridium scythe and the reason why the the iridium scythe is that it doesn't matter what xp you get for this cave any xp increases uh gets you towards mastery so if you go for the iridium scythe first it means that you can harvest your crops faster farming xp is quite trivial compared to the other skills farming xp is trivial to get xp in you plant fields of star fruit you plant fields of ancient fruit 
Scythe fruit you're going to have to replant. So you're probably going to plant fields of ancient fruit. You get the iridium scythe. You scythe the plants and you go to sleep for a week. You scythe the plants, you go to sleep for a week. You get your farming XP through that. So the, the iridium scythe will unlock a way of getting XP faster to then let you get the other skills to get the other masteries. So you go claim and then you get the tool that you get there. So now I can't claim the other ones because I don't have space for it. That there lights up and that has then been claimed. And the next mastery requires more XP. Uh, the actual numbers for that, let's go have a look. Get mastery XP needed for level. You need 10,000 XP to, in total. 10,000 XP in total for the first level, 25,000 in total. So 10,000 gives you the first one, another 15,000 gives you the next one, then another 20,000, then another 25, then another 30. So each level increases the requirement by another 5,000 XP. So you need an additional 100,000 XP in order to get all of them. Let's look at Statue of Dwarf King and Statue of Blessings, and then we'll look at trinkets. Okay, create day save random. This is seeded. We can predict this. Blessing of speed. Blessing of luck. Blessing of energy. Blessing of waters. Blessing of friendship. Blessing of fangs. Blessing of the butterfly. Blessings of waters. Names of those. Blessing of energy description. You have infinite energy. Blessing of fangs. Plus 10% critical strike, strike chance. Blessing of friendship. You gain extra friendship from speaking to people. Blessing of the Butterfly. A prismatic butterfly is waiting for you somewhere in the valley. Blessings of Water's description. The first three fish you hook today will be much easier. A number left. These are one day blessings. So blessings of friendship is just for that day. Infinite energy for that day. Okay. If you have the Satchel Blessings too. So yeah, if you've got infinite energy then don't adjust your stamina. Game location has buff 5. Crit chance plus 0.1. Okay, that's just a crit chance of 0.1. That happens before... What's the name of that one? Desperado? Try add Prismatic Butterfly. Seeded. This is game location. Game location add butterflies. If it's before 5 o'clock, try to add a Prismatic Butterfly. Every game location? Beach. Try add Prismatic Butterfly. It's just everywhere. And Beach has its own one because you don't normally have critters down there. Create day save random. Ah, here we go. Possible locations. It can be in the forest, town, beach, mountain, woods, bus stop, or backwards. It chooses that and then add a prismatic butterfly. Get random tile. Seed it. It'll be around a cedar tile. And it tries to stay in bounds. It'll fly around. Okay, what happens with this prismatic butterfly? Let's go to this definition. Is prismatic. Update. Prismatic capture timer. Make temporary sprite juicier. <laughs> I love that name. Make temporary sprite juicier. Juicier buffs. Remove. Okay. Play sound. Yoba. Remove the buff. Create day save random. 50% chance plus daily luck to give you a prismatic shard. 74 is prismatic shard. Also, player money. Add on a number between 100 and 50,000. Minimum of 100, maximum 50,000. Standard is your total money earned times 0 0.005. Total money earned times 0 0.005. So that's up to 10 million. If you've earned 10 million G, the prismatic will add 50,000 G. It's not what's currently in hand, it's what you've earned. Honestly, if you've earned 10,000 G, 50,000 isn't much. But it gives you money. You need mastery to get this in the first place. And you need to go hunt it down. Should be more than 50,000. Bring it up to 500,000. Multiply that by 10. And yes, it can also drop a prizzy. Pretty much a 50% chance affected by daily luck. Seeded on your, on your unique multiplayer ID. So yes, it is seeded. But it's going to be, you can't really seed for it. That's a low cap for the for the, the time of game that you are at to get that. That is a low cap. Okay, Statue of Blessings 4. Talking. Grant conversation friendship. So you normally get 20 by talking to someone. You get 60 instead for that day. And then you go into change friendship, which then has that friendship book in there. It triples the talking friendship with someone. 
for that day. Doesn't change the gifting friendship, just the talking friendship. Oh boy, an extra 40 friendship. Yeah, again, this is an end game bonus. Ba ba ba. Blessings of waters. Ba ba ba. Constructor, I assume. Yes, when you start hooking a fish, then your your blessings of waters will decrease by one. This just makes fish easier. If the difficulty is high, make it easier. Make it run around less, and you get to use it three times. I find that one a decent one. That's all the blessings statues, I believe. You don't get a prismatic butterfly if it's raining. Blessing of luck. We didn't see that one. Luck level. It just adds one to your luck level for the day. Okay, that's a decent one. Just a straight up plus one luck. Okay, so that was a statue of blessings. We've also got the dwarf statue. Statue of the dwarf king. The song stuck in my head. Again, like with the statue of blessings, you need to have the right mastery to use it. Dwarf statue. Let's go to definition for this one. Dwarf random. Create random. Seated. Dwarf statue underscore numbers. Okay. There are five in total to choose from. Zero to four. Okay, so what are these ones? We want to search for this. Statue of the Dwarf King. Plus one or from all notes. Greater chance to find ladders and shafts. Greater chance to find coal. Bombs cannot damage you. Greater chance to find geodes. Okay, how are they used? Perform damage from players. If you have that, don't take damage at all. Okay, dwarf statue added geode chance multiply it yeah multiply it by the added geo chance 25 percent chance it's all quite low but yeah it's an added chance that's geodes outside of mines is there another check for inside yes there is added coal chance uh that's just an addition an additional three percent that's outside of the mines again but there's another check down there as well okay cool added ores just 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 extra ores it's minor here's minor here's dwarf statue just have some extra ore all right in the mines extra ladder seven percent chance to find or an, an extra seven percent to find ladders if you have that one from monsters it increases the random 15 percent chance to 22 percent if you kill a monster and when you break a rock it multiplies and it's an extra 25% chance. So it doesn't add 25%, it multiplies it by 1.25. It doesn't add 25 percentage points, it increases it by 25%. It's, it's hard to phrase. So your chance to find ladders is a base of 2%. Then you add on the inverse of the number of stones remaining. You add on 1% per luck level. You add on data luck by by five so it's plus or minus two percent if no monsters are there then that adds four percent and then that increases what you have by 25 percent multiplication not addition yes this in here is excavate this is for the geodes it's a it's small when you have say excavator which doubles it just double it again okay yeah they're all the dwarf statue is all mining related so do you choose if you're going deep in skull cabins in the seeded perfection run do you choose a day that you know that you're going to get the the buff and then hope that you get good luck on it it's a couple of blue grass requests okay let's look at blue grass now let's just do a search for blue grass and see if that gets us where we need to go blue grass data that's not what we want place this on your farm to plant a clump of blue grass yay sam's band blue grass grass blue grass is seven grass type that's the one that we want there Final reference to that, and we want it for when the grass type is seven. Hey look, cobweb is a type of grass. Reduce by number. If it is blue grass, then it looks to be that the blue grass goes down slower and comes back stronger. Gives you double hay. Farm animal eat. If the grass type is blue grass, then you get a animal eating it gives 16 friendship instead of the 8 that you get from standard grass. So it gives double the friendship from animals eating it. Goes down slower, comes back stronger, double hay when cut with a scythe, double friendship when animals eat it. There you go, that's what blue grass does. What's next? Trinkets. Okay, let's have a look at trinkets. 
try spawn trinket we'll start with how trinkets spawn get treasure room item this is the um the treasure floor in skull caverns you can get trinkets 4.5 percent chance of getting a trinket from any uh, any treasure floor in skull caverns and then there's this tri spawn trinket base chance the maximum health the stronger a monster is the more likely it is to drop a trinket if the monster is a leaper leaper are the spiders in the code they're called leapers so a leaper has a, a lower chance of spawning a trinket if it's a glider and max health is over 150 that's probably serpents might just be real serpents but we're going to have to look at the data files for that i don't have time to, to dig into that right now the base chance is limited to 2.5 percent it gets limited there but then it adds on your daily luck and your luck level at small chances chance modifier where's that that gets passed in potentially and then this is unseated game one dot random chance to then spawn a trinket and when you go to spawn a trinket then it gets a random one and drops it so it looks at the trinket data sheet and then just spawns it where is this called so we know that skull cabin's chests have a 4.5 percent chance where else is this called monster drop and breakable containers monster drop try to spawn trinket so this will not be doubled with the void book because it doesn't add it to debris to add it just drops it somewhere try spawn trinket so yeah so we did see how the monsters adjust the chances in there so you kill a monster potentially get a trinket actual numbers for this will have to come later because there's a bit of there's a fair bit of math to go through and then breakable container try spawn trinket unseeded so in this method there is a random a seeded random this is how the predictor knows what crates are going to drop what but there it's an unseeded chance to try to spawn a trinket and only if you're in the mine shaft so only if you're in the mines or skull caverns not in the volcano volcano monsters can still drop trinkets volcano crates can't but every crate will attempt to drop a trinket and the effective mine level that's so either the mine level or if you're in the quarry mine then quarry mine has a heightened chance of spawning trinkets there you go quarry mine has a heightened chance of spawning trinkets the actual numbers for this will come later now the actual spawning of the trinket so unseeded it's just random as to which one you get and it creates it what happens in the constructor generation seed it's a random number between 0 and 9999998 so you, that is the seed that is used create random stats the there was the anvil to re-roll stats the anvil must give a new one let's have a look output anvil can be reforged yep it makes a completely new trinket same type new generation seed and then it's the generation seed that determines its stats so then you've just got different types of trinkets companion trinket is there a trinket folder if not there should be a trinket folder It'll make it a lot easier to look at they're just all in here under objects what are we in here we are in companion trinket effect frog variant let's have a look at the strings for that one green frog egg brown frog egg blue green frog egg blue frog egg red frog egg yellow frog egg void frog egg prismatic frog egg cool 20 percent chance to be zero otherwise 80 percent chance to be zero one or two otherwise 80 percent chance to be three four or five otherwise six or seven more math to do to work out the exact chances for each of these companion hungry frog companion variant okay let's have a look at this hungry frog companion which variant yep fine whatever update monster eat monster eat check timer bonus time bonus time is that going to be related to the health of the monster tongue out if you're not in a slime hutch then find a monster within range 
if the closest monster is a bat and the age is seven, eight, nine, then reset and return. Each the age of a monster seven eight nine. The age being seven eight nine. What's that? So as you value game location bat negative seven eight nine. Lowest basement. Lowest basement. What's this object? Lucky purple shorts. Seven eight nine is lucky purple shorts. Lowest basement. Lowest has a basement. Warp farmer lowest basement. Manor house. Check for action on staircase. If location is mine shaft, then blah. If not mine shaft, if manor house. Staircase and manor house. Warp farmer to lowest basement. Play sound stair down. Check for action. A staircase in the manor house. We're going into the game for this. Let's get us up a staircase. Staircase, lucky purple shorts. You used to be able to put a staircase on this slot there and it would turn into lucky purple shorts so staircase staircase and manor house it's not doing anything okay hey look lucky purple shorts i i want a glow ring i have a feeling i'm gonna need this because there's something about a bat in here. I can't get through. Here we go. You found the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Cool. What's this computer doing? Uh, okay. It damages. I'm getting hit for 30 and 36. Oh, I can't hit it. No, oh, no, get out of here. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> well, I've now got some lucky people shorts. Staircase in Lewis's room. There's more. <laughs> There's another. Why is he worried if he's lost it? Because he can... Yet another one. That hits hard and you can't kill it. And a frog companion will not eat that. <laughs> True, you can stack them. <laughs> you can stack the shorts and get 999 of the shorts. Question, what does this mean for underwear soup? The current route for underwear soup, while well, you get friendship with Marnie, you get into her house, get into her bedroom and pick up the shorts and then sleep till the Luau, you normally wait until her birthday in fall and then you gotta sleep till the next summer. Lois's birthday is spring, so you could throw them the first year soup. Staircase is unlocked at mining level two. So you'd need to get mining level two and two hearts with Lois. So the heart, the friendship's easier, you just gotta get the stone and the skill. You wouldn't get enough with the mountain farm, I don't think. You'd have to do a bit in, in the mines. But you're just hunting for XP. Mana basement. We were looking at trinkets and then we spotted a mana basement. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, we were looking at the hungry frog companion. So if the closest monster is a bat and the age is seven, eight, nine, it's it's the flying it's the flying purple shorts. There's a one-eyed one horn flying purple shorts, Edith. If that is the closest monster, don't eat it and just return. It'll check it again in the next update. Other than that, then it will eat a monster. Tongue out, tongue reach monster. Fish lap, attached monster. I'm interested to see if it drops anything. Attached monster is not null. It just removes the character. It doesn't go through on monster slate or anything. So it looks like it won't count for any of the adventure guilds, uh, adventure guild quests, or drop you any of its items. It just makes the monster not exist. The frog also eats the items. Okay, so that is the hungry frog companion. Magic quiver. Shoots a magic arrow at nearby enemies every X seconds, dealing X to X damage. 
Frog X summons a Hungry Frog Companion, Magic Hair Gel, your hair shimmers with all the colours of a Prismatic Shard. Fairbrook summons a Fairy Companion that heals you in combat situations. Summons a level X Fairy Companion that heals you in combat situations. Summons a level X Parrot Companion who grants you a X chance to find gold coins when slaying monsters. So that's just extra money. Ice Rod shoots an orb of ice every X seconds, freezing any enemies in its path for X seconds. Golden Spear Critical Strikes give you a speed boost for X seconds. Basilisk Paw, you are immune to debuffs. Okay, perfect Ice Rod, Rapid, Heavy, perfect. And then the different variants, Iridium Spur, Golden Spur. Uh, Parrot Egg, Chance, Low, Hot, Medium, High, Very High. And an Anvil for rolling them. Golden Parrot, Find Golden Walnuts, Costs X. Sleep, we do it tonight. Am I sure about this? If the parrots find all the remaining golden walnuts, I won't have the true Ginger Island experience. Interesting. It's it's getting late. We'll leave this exploring here. We'll do some more exploring next Tuesday. I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about legacy and new RNG, and I want to talk about challenge runs. Let's start with legacy and new RNG. So there seems to be a bit of a misconception about what legacy RNG is. It is not the code acting exactly the same as it did on 1.5. It's acting similarly as 1.5, but not exactly the same. So you may have heard that the cart logic has changed. The cart RNG has changed under the hood. So previously, some items would have a higher chance of appearing in the cart. And that was because of how the cart generated its things. It would randomly choose a number. If that number was valid for the cart, cool if it wasn't it would increment by one until it finds a valid number so if there's an item at the end of a long list of invalid items then that item has a higher chance of appearing because of all the previous invalid ones if it hits that one it goes there if it hits that one it goes there if it hits that one it goes there if it's that one cool that's what you get the generation of the cart in 1.6 has changed and it's changed in a way that every item has an equal chance of appearing there's no longer this long run of invalid numbers to get to a valid one every item has the same chance that is how the cart spawns on 1.6 legacy rng does not change that it does not go back to how things were chosen on 1.5 it does not go back to a long list of invalid items to have an invalid item the underlying code or how the cart is generated has changed that's how it is on 1.6 Legacy RNG does not go down a different path, a different old path for generating it. Instead, how Legacy and new RNG compare is how the random object itself is created. So whenever we talk about something being seeded, something being predictable, we know how the random object has been created. If you know the game ID of your save, if you know the day, if you know tile location, so there's all information that goes into creating the random seed. And if you know how that's created, then you know what the results are going to be. The way that things like clay farming worked, the things like the, the ladder ladder worked, that works on knowing the RNG seed and knowing how that RNG seed changes based on things like a different tile location, like on the next tile that you till, as in the next, the, the total number of tiles that you've tilled. So for things like, we'll go to the code for this. So X location is multiplied by 2000, Y location multiplied by 77, you also pass in the dirt hope. So the way that clay farming works, and the way that it continues to work on legacy RNG, is that we know how changing these numbers changes the overall RNG seed that goes into random. So we know that if you increase X by 2, then the number, the RNG seed goes up by 4000. And it's the, if it's the next till as well, it goes up by 1. If we know exactly, if we know exactly how the RNG seed number has changed, then we know exactly how different the next hit is going to be from the previous result. So in order to get clay, you need to hit a 3% chance. So the result of the random, when you call next ball, passing in that, 
if the resolves of that is less than 0.03, then you get clay. So if you hit the ground and you get clay, you know that your result was less than 0.03. And you know that if you move across two, up one, that the next result is going to remove 0.000, I don't know the exact number, but potentially still under 0.03. So that is possible because you know how the number that was used to create the RNG has changed by a consistent amount. You change the X by two, it goes up by 4,000. So you remove one from the location, you remove 77. The way that new RNG works, it does different math on each of these ones here. So if you increase X by one, then it's going to increase the seed by 3,201 if you increase by another one it reduces it by 203 it changes the rng seed by an unknown amount so if you come into here and to create random create random seed this here is where legacy changes from new on legacy it just does a simple addition it limits it to max integer and it does a simple addition on each element that gets passed in so if you pass in an extra 2000 on this number here then you're just adding 2000 to the final seed that you get on new RNG, it does this get deterministic hash code. That sounds fun. And this goes off, it uses a common library for getting a hash value. So that if you increase seed A by one, on legacy random, you're just adding one to the final seed that you use. It's a consistent amount. You know how the RNG changes, you can use the pattern. On new RNG, you increase this by one. The final result is not increased by one. It's increased by another random number, it is hashed. The way that this random is used at the end of the day is the same. So if somehow you work out exactly what seed goes into that and you're able to know how it is on the old one, you'll get the same results. It's how the random is initialized as to the difference between legacy and new. It doesn't go down different code paths, it's how it gets your random object. Even if you're on legacy RNG, the predictor still needs an update. Uh, challenge runs. Challenge runs that we can do on 1.6. With the Queen of Source book, you can do perfection earlier. And I believe that the earliest day that you can get perfection is going to be spring three. Spring three, year two. You need Kent, friendship with Kent, and you need one last special request quest completed for a crafting recipe. There are nine special requests that give you crafting, crafting recipes. The board unlocks in fall. You've got four weeks in fall, four weeks in winter, and the first week in spring in order to get those nine quests. So earliest perfection is no longer to the end of year two. It's at the beginning of year two. So that's going to be cool. Just out of bounds yet. I've heard there is something in there, but I haven't seen it yet. Got up here with our raccoon hat. <laughs> Red. Well, well, well. Look who made it to the summit. Thought you were really clever, didn't you? How can I cheat this system for my own benefit, you thought? Or, in layman's terms, me, 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 Should have a frowny face there. Wow, he attacks me. Easy now, take it slow. Someone found you unconscious and battered. I had to perform an emergent surgery on you. Be a little more careful next time, okay? <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's do that again. Does it happen again? Me, 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 me. Wow. Well, I used, in my Crobus run, I went out of bounds up there so that I could have access to forage beyond the boulder. What happens if I have maximum health? I'm assuming it is still gonna kill me. <laughs> it just kills ya. Well, I'm glad there is no forage beyond that boulder that I want to get for a run that needs a lot of forage. Another challenge run that I think, I think I can do faster if my numbers are correct. My early marriage routing document. So I'm not going to be able to get to the friendship book early enough. I either need to go to year three or I need to complete like nine, 12, 27, 27 billable quests. And that's not going to happen. 
but star drop t is a thing i'm not going to be able to get it from the price machine it's too far in there i'm not going to get it from the raccoons because i have to complete the greenhouse and wait weeks for it however there is a star drop t available in a remixed bundle i think it's called the helpers bundle it requires mystery boxes and a price ticket both of those which i can get i can get a star drop t from that and that is 250 hearts 250 points with someone which i have here i still have to do it for penny because of the points that you get from events but if my math is correct i'm proposing on the 10th i don't actually know this what happens if a wedding is to happen on a festival day does it get pushed back a day is it four days later instead of three days later gets delayed okay so it's still getting married on the 14th i'd need another another 150 before won't get mastery in that time so i won't get that talking bonus okay so i can bring the proposal date back once but the wedding date's not going to be earlier dang initial challenge runs for this spring third year two perfection day 10 penny proposal all right i've been nerfed the casino casino money has been heavily nerfed there are limits on the number of farm walk totems you can purchase there are limits on the number of hardwood fences you can purchase there are limits on the number of magnets you can purchase in a day you can no longer buy stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of farm walk totems to dump into the shipping bin you can buy 20 on the patch that lets you buy 999 of an item we get the we 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 get limited on the number of farm walk totems that we can purchase i've been nerfed it feels like it's been specifically me that's been nerfed hmm interesting strategy you got there so the the, the whole route for see the perfection was around getting to the casino as fast as possible to get to your money printer and then you effectively play the rest of the run with unlimited money it still takes ages it's another it's another 12 13 14 hours after that point but that that rush has been removed so we need to look at other things that we need to do oh i'm still grieving 